even people watching television today, at least younger people watching television today, you know, uh, in our experience, in my company's experience, it's, it's upwards of 70% of the people are doing it with a laptop or some other device, uh, a PC or, or a phone uh, or an iPad now or, you know, a tablet device. So uh, absolutely the multi-screen viewing experience is becoming normal. I think a lot of the time the thing they're watching on TV and the thing they're doing on the other device are two different you know, unre often unrelated things. I think more and more we're going to see uh, experiences that, that, you know, take advantage of that multi-screen experience and actually combine the experiences somehow. Well, it's a sort of a, a double-edged sword for the content creators. Um, as you know, the big business of the creative industries, the music industry, the television production industry, uh, you know, there's a lot of pressure on these guys from things like the internet and multi-platform devices. There's, uh, uh, it's hard to negotiate the rights uh, with a m more fragmented audience, even on TV with, you know, 500 channel universe and now VOD services, you know, being introduced. We're, we keep slicing the audience thinner and thinner, which, you know, creates scale problems, which creates financial problems problems in, in, in financing the creation of this content, which ultimately makes it harder for a writer, a producer, a director to get a job. And, and uh, I think that's the negative side of it. You know, the positive side, of course, is that any writer, director, producer can publish their work now and potentially reach millions of people. There's a gap there, I think, between the massive media companies uh, of the world and, let's say, the YouTube um, kind of model of content distribution. There's a massive gap there. I think there's still a need for, you know, curated uh, content, uh, you know, editorialized, you know, filtered, uh, and if you will, a stepping stone for these young creative people in their careers. Where do you, th where do you go from YouTube success? So, you know, you know, in a way, I think a media company of the future is going to have to think this way. And, and ultimately, I think the media company of the future will have to align themselves with these, the creative talent, because that's what runs the whole thing is the talent. History, when you're talking about news, you know, uh, sports, you know, music, um, you know, a lot of these things that, that, that people check, you know, every day on these devices, I mean, there's a Canadian context is always more powerful to a Canadian. They would always prefer to go to a Canadian site, you know, and I believe a lot of times there's not a great Canadian option. I think Canadian talent you know, creating a media company, uh, a media publishing company in Canada has always been an attractive thing because we have an incredible talent pool uh, around certain genres of content, you know, in our case, music and comedy. Uh, I think, you know, they were, we're exporters of this type of, of talent. So I think similarly to the global kind of challenge, you know, creating an you know, stepping stone for the, that talent to, to build their careers uh, is a great opportunity for a media company, not to mention the 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 subsidies that remain in Canada, the government incentives for creating, creating content here. And uh, still on television, you know, uh, the CanCon rules and, and so on really do help uh, get exposure for these things. But ultimately, I think our goal as Canadian content creators is to get our, the best of our talent exposed to the rest of the world. If you list the top priorities, you know, at, at a large media company in Canada uh, today, I don't think, you know, developing and, you know, Canadian talent you know, from the internet into the next level is necessarily at the top of the list for a lot of them. You know, I think the new, brand new entrants into the market have a really exciting challenge because, they, again, without any of the legacy, both good and bad, you're free to kind of, uh, you know, you're untethered. You can make mistakes and try out different things. And to me, that's what really gets me excited. Uh, none of what I'm saying is a slam dunk success, but I think it's um, a real opportunity. I think there will be new entrance into the media world that become very successful in the in the digital media landscape of the future. I don't think the quote unquote broadcaster is 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 a, is a old thing. I think it's going to be reinvent itself and become a you know very relevant thing in the future. It just ha they have to obviously change and adapt and and in, you know in some people's case create